Praise the Lord, everybody. It is 316, and we're grateful to have another opportunity to come back and share with you again today. We are thankful that God has privileged us to join you in prayer every day at this time. We know it's God and God alone who uh, has opened this door and who has given us the opportunity to share. Uh, welcome to any new folks who are joining us for the first time. We um, uh, thank God again just to be able to pray daily. Thank God for the uh, privilege of the throne of grace that is open to us as children of the Most High God. Um, as usual, we like to start out our prayer time by praying uh, prayer repentance, but we always start out with scripture. So I'm going to read a scripture I shared this morning when I was ministering the word. It seemed good then and it seems good to me now. So in Esther chapter number four, I'm going to read from verse number one. It says, when Mordecai learned all that had happened, he tore his clothes and put on sackcloth and ashes and went out into the midst of the city. He cried out with a loud and bitter voice. He went as far as the front of the king's gate, for no one could enter the king's gate clothed with sackcloth. And in every province where the king's command and decree arrived, there was great mourning among the Jews with fasting, weeping and wailing, and many lay in sackcloth and ashes. So we are looking at this text because we want to know that God hears us and we do that by humbling ourselves. They gave us an example. There are times when we need to turn down our plate, pray fast, cry out to God. Um, but we start by humbling ourselves first and foremost that God will hear us. And so that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to ask you to join me as we go before the Lord in prayer. Father, we come now in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for another day. Thank you for another privilege of being called by your name. Thank you for another privilege of being able to come into your presence and know that your word tells us to come boldly before the throne of grace, that we might receive mercy and find grace to help in our time of need. We come, God, because this is a time of need. This is a time when we need your divine intervention. We come humbling our hearts before you, asking for your cleansing, asking for your mercy, asking for your grace. God, we've not done all the things that we ought to do, but we thank you, God, that you've made a way. You've honored our prayers, God, because of the precious blood of Jesus. We come, oh God, admitting, God, that we have fallen short of your glory. And we come in the mighty name of Jesus putting ourselves before you, saying, forgive us, cleanse us, heal us, deliver us. We come acknowledging that your word is truth and that we ought to submit ourselves to it. So we humbly say, Lord, have your way in us. Forgive us where we've fallen short. Move in a mighty way. Help us, O King, to do your will. We love you, Father. We praise you. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Glory, glory, glory to your matchless name. We praise you and thank you for hearing our cries daily and for humming us and for helping us and for healing us and even God for just forgiving us. We ask all of this, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I am blessed today because it's another day that the Lord has made and I purpose, I don't know about you, to rejoice and be glad in it. But I'm also blessed because my dear mom uh, had a best friend um, who I love dearly, uh, Mother Naomi Roberts. Mother Naomi Roberts has known me since before I was. I'm sure she remembers when my mother was pregnant with me. Um, but I can remember her from the moment I could understand who anyone was. She was in my life and has been. And a person of love, a person of integrity, a person who is just kind-hearted and always makes you feel welcome when you're in her presence always encouraging you. My mother loved her dearly. I mean, on her, uh, sadly, sadly, what ended up to be her bed uh, of transition, I remember her saying to me, she wanted her and 
mother Naomi to go to our women's retreat. And I was like, mom, you can't get up. How are you going to go to a women's retreat? But she had it in her heart. Can me and Naomi go? That's how much she loved mother Naomi. Um, so we are blessed. Mother Naomi Roberts is the head of the missionary department at Antioch uh, Church of Christ International Bible Way. Um, she's part of the leadership there in Alexandria, Virginia. Um, just loves God. Just a beautiful spirit. So I'm just going to ask her to come and share in her own way. Come on, uh, Mother, and share your testimony. Praise the Lord, everyone. And we greet you in the name of Jesus today. We are so happy today to come on the line because we love the Lord and we thank the Lord. And I just would just like to share just a little bit of testimony with you. I thank the Lord because God has blessed me. And I, I just want to encourage you, for those of you that are, you know, going through things in life and you feel like maybe there is no way to be made or this is going to fail. But I want you to remember that God is always there with you and he's watching over you. And I can say that I was married to for 41 years and have been a widow for 20. But I can say today without a doubt, God has never failed me yet. I can remember, and I just want to let you know this, when I was having my children, I am the mother of nine children, and I was thinking that there would have been so many times when I looked and seen that there was nothing. I would set the table before the day was over. God had sent somebody by to bring a meal, and I thank God for that. And I can remember when my husband was sick, we were out of a job how the, the calves would come to my house with loads of grocery. And I would say, well, I didn't order any grocery. But they say, is your name Naomi Roberts? And I would say, yes, yeah, thank you, Jesus. And they would say, well, this is where they told me to bring it. There was $100 bills that were sent into mail for me, for me and my children. God would make a way. So, you know, God, if you are saved, and I mean saved, filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost, and the Lord is abiding on the end inside of you, you don't have to worry about a thing, because God will always be there. He'll have your back. And I thank the Lord for that, because even we had bought a home, and my husband passed away, and I said, Lord, I don't know how in the world that I'm going to be able to meet this mortgage. But you know, I can say without a shadow of a doubt, I never missed a payment. Mm -hmm. I never was late until God blessed me to pay the mortgage off. And I thank God for that today. He's always He's been right there, hallelujah. And I don't regret not one moment out of the 60-some years that God has saved me and baptized me and filled me with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Now, if you got God's spirit right on the inside, God going to always look out for you because he said in his word that I would never, and never means never, I would never leave you nor forsake you. So no matter what it looks like right now and no matter what you're going through, and I also sympathize with a lot of people that are having babies, you maybe don't want to bring the baby in the world, bring the child on in the world and trust God that he would be right there for you to make a way because he will make a way for you if you lean on him and trust in him and abide in his word and obey his word. God is always right there by your side. So there I encourage you to stand still, wait on the Lord because God will bring you out of any situation and he'll always make a way. Though it might seem dark, the light will shine, and God will bring you through. We've been made do for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. So hold on to the Lord and trust him to make that way for you. Man will fail you, of course, but we are serving a God that said, I will never leave you. Hallelujah. And I never will forsake you. So hold on to the Lord in these troubled times, because we know God is going to come through for us. In Jesus' name. Thank you so much. Amen. 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 Thank Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a blessing. What a powerful testimony. Hallelujah. Nine children and God never forsook you, never left you hungry, Amen. never Amen. saw the righteous begging bread. God is a faithful God. That is a powerful testimony right there. And then Amen. just how he has kept you over the years because I've been around and you've just been a tremendous blessing. So I thank God for you. Amen, amen, amen. I know somebody got encouraged because somebody's struggling right now, not even knowing how ends are going to meet. But I thank God that we make 
we serve a God who is a way maker. Amen. So we're getting ready to pray, saints, but let me read this scripture before we open the line to pray. And this is also out of Esther chapter four, and I'm going to read verse number 14. Some of you guys have been around a while and you know we've already established the fact that we are essential. We are an important part of this process because God is using us through our prayers to encourage and to build up and to heal and to deliver all the things that he wants to do through us. We are an essential part of the process. And this just sort of reaffirms that for me. And Esther chapter four, verse 14 says, for if this was Mordecai, uh, returning to talk to or send a message to his niece, his cousin Esther. He said, for if you remain completely silent at this time, relief and deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place. But you and your house, father's house will perish. Yet, who knows whether you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. So I just want to encourage you, saints, if you remain silent, God will raise somebody up to pray. But I pray that you would join us in prayer, recognizing that God has brought you into the kingdom to pray for such a time as this. Let's open the line and let's pray to our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we thank you. We honor you this day. We believe that you are hearing our cry, that indeed you have birthed us into your kingdom for such a time as this, that this is not an accident, this is not a happenstance, that we are part of your kingdom right now. So we come boldly to your throne today, God, interceding for all of the people who need healing today, interceding even for those mothers out there who maybe are struggling financially, even others who don't know how to get food or don't know where to turn. God, I'm asking you to make provision. Even as you did it for Mother Robbins, I'm asking you to do it for them. God, that person who is feeling desire to give it up, to, to even throw in the towel, God, I'm asking you to breathe on them and quicken them and strengthen them and restore their faith, restore their hope, restore their joy, that God, they would not lose hope, not lose heart, not give up. Oh God, revive us again. Those of us who are weary and worn down. Revive us again, Almighty God. We need your divine intervention in the name of Jesus. God, I plead the blood of Jesus over every person under the sound of my voice. Those who are looking to you for help, whether it's physical healing, God, heal them in the name of Jesus. Whether it's a family member's healing, a friend's healing, God, stretch forth your hand to heal in the matchless name of Jesus, we pray. God, whether it be a financial breakthrough, move in a miraculous way, oh God. Whether it's a mental capacity issue, God, touch their minds, encourage spirits today, encourage us emotionally. Some of us are struggling. We've been locked in and locked down, but God, I thank you from you. We are never locked out. We are never locked out of your presence, never locked out of your grace, never locked out, Lord God, from your ability to hear us. So we're crying out, Almighty King, move miraculously, way maker, miracle worker, God of all comfort, El Shaddai, Elohim, Jehovah Rapha, we cry out to you, Almighty God, that you will show up, Jehovah Shalom, bring peace, bring healing in your wings. We take refuge in you, O God. We take refuge under your wings, O King. We plead the blood of Jesus, God, over every heart and every mind across this nation, even as people are going back out, going to beaches and going to places to eat. God, give wisdom. God, give mercy. God, give courage. Keep us all healthy and strong, oh God. Let there be no boomerang effect. Now let us go forward in the name of Jesus. Father God, I bless you and I thank you for hearing our cries. We know it could have been far worse, but for your grace. So we're thanking you, God, that it wasn't worse than it is. But we're also asking, God, that you would hold back, stem the tide of this COVID virus in the name of Jesus. That you would move in a miraculous way through every nursing home, every nurse, every caregiver at home even, God. Bless and keep your people who have to be quarantined, who are sick, who are gasping for breath. Bless, bless your people who are in there trying to help God in a nursing home, in a hospital, in an ER, wherever they are. God be Jehovah 
our healer right now. We pray in the name of Jesus. God, I crowd for family members today. I plead the blood of Jesus over my brother Robert. Touch him, holy God. Heal him, oh God. I crowd for my cousin Jeanette, my cousin Jenny, <coughs> excuse me, my cousin Kimmy, Lord God, my cousin Lalani, Deborah, and Tony, Lord God, and Cheryl, Jackie, God, I plead the blood of Jesus over my extended family for comfort and peace and grace today is only you can bring. I plead the blood of Jesus over Anita, God, today. I plead the blood of Jesus over Mary Brown, God. Touch her body. Stretch forth your hand and touch and heal. Charles, touch his mind. Heal his body, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Harry Collins, Lord, touch and heal her. Selena Jones, God, touch and heal in the name of Jesus. God, I cry out to you for every nurse, every doctor, every person that's out there on the front line from hospitals from sea to shining sea hospitals where there's overflow hospitals where there's weariness hospitals where there's death after death after death holy one of israel stop the death angel and bring healing in your wings bring deliverance almighty king i pray in the name of jesus surely you're well able surely there's nothing too hard for you nothing is impossible for you you are our god oh king we love you we praise you we thank you we honor you we know that you're well able we know you can do it god you said with men these things might be impossible but with you all things are possible so we're crying out god even in the spirit realm we arrest that spirit of COVID-19 in the name of Jesus. We command COVID-19 to flee. God, that you would rebuke the divine for our sake, that you would intervene on our behalf, that you would send forth your angels to war for us, even now, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. We need you. We need you. We need you. Break every chain, Holy One of Israel. Destroy every yoke, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, that your people who are called by your name would humble themselves and pray. Turn from their wicked ways and seek your face. Oh God, that you would heal the land. Touch every believer across this nation. That we would not think in robbery. To pray, to cry out, to press in daily, God. Give us a spirit of intercession that we would not look for somebody else to do it, but we would cry out to you on our own. In the name of Jesus, God, we need your divine intervention. We hope and we pray and we believe in the name of Jesus that you're going to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we've asked or thought. We believe, God, your healing. We believe, God, your wisdom for those who are in authority, for Angela also books, for Governor Hogan, for every governor across this land, for every uh, legislator across this land, for every mayor across this land. We believe you for healing, for hope, for wisdom, oh God, even for President Trump and Vice President Pence and all those who are influencing them. We plead the blood of Jesus over their lives, over their minds, over their hearts, that they would yield to you. Surely the King's heart is in your hands. Turn it according to your divine will. Oh God, that it may go well with us is our cry. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, help us to press and to persevere and to trust you and to know just like you told Moses, you've told us to be still and see the salvation of the Lord. To stand still and know that you are God. We stand on your word, oh God, and we believe that you have brought us here for such a time as this, that you are hearing our cries and that you are answering the angels of dispatch even now with the answers. In the name of Jesus, we bless your holy name. We praise your holy name. We honor you, God, and we thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we pray. Glory, glory, glory. Do it as only you can do it, O King. Breakthrough as only you can bring it, O King. In the name of Jesus, we love you. We praise you. We thank you. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, God, hear the cries of your saints. I touch and agree with every prayer in the name of Jesus. All right, Mother, you can go ahead and pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 
Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. We come before you, Lord. We just want to thank you, first of all, Lord God, for all that you've done, Lord. We thank you for life in abundance, Lord God. We thank yes. you, Lord God, for natural life. And most of all, we thank you for our spiritual life, Lord, yes. that you've given us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that you were walking by our side, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, that with you, nothing is impossible. Yes. We thank you because you are mighty God, Lord. We yes. thank you that you are a Lord, your God, oh God, that you are a faithful God. Yes. And we thank you for tonight, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for to be able to cry out to you, Lord God. Yes. Be able, oh God, to speak your word, Lord God. Yes. And we thank you, Lord, because we may be shut in, but we're not shut out today, Lord thank God. You, Lord. And we thank you for it, Lord God. We even thank you, Lord God, that even we might not be able to go to the church building, Lord God, but we thank you that you put the church on the inside of us, yes, Lord, Lord, and that we are the one that takes the church to the building. Yes. But we thank you, Lord God, for your joy and for your peace, Lord God. Yes. We thank you, Lord God, how you made a way, Lord God, that even in this time and in this day, that you made it possible that even though we can't go to that building, that, oh God, we can get on the phones and we can get on the different technology that you made, God, for us to get on, and that we can cry loud, Lord God, yes. and that we still carry the word, the word can be preached, Lord God, yes. the word that can be taught, Lord God, men that didn't even adopt in the doors, Lord God, are able, now, Lord God, to hear your word, Lord God, yes. and those of us that were sober and unconcerned, and only came when we felt like coming, hallelujah, Lord God, hallelujah. we thank you right now, Lord, for the precious word of God, we thank you, Lord God, for how you take us through, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, today we bind Satan, hallelujah, we catch him up out of our feet, we thank you, Lord, because we realize that he hates you so, that he goes after your children, Lord God, yes. but we thank you for loving us so, Lord God, that you keep us, Lord God, under the shadows of your wing, Lord God, yes. and we praise you for that today, we praise you, Lord God, for our home, we praise you for our children, Lord God, thank those you. that know you, Lord God, those that don't know you, hallelujah, yes. we are crying out to you, Lord God, that you would touch the hearts, Lord God, touch the minds, Lord God, you able, Lord God, to reach minds that we can't reach, yes. you able to touch hearts that we can't touch, Lord God, yes. in the name of Jesus. You know all things, Lord God. You can do all things, Lord God, yes. in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for your word. Let's say, if God did for us, yes. but God, we just want to say, since you are for us, we thank you, Lord God, that you are more than the world against us today, Lord God. Thank You're you. right by our side, Lord God. You're taking us through. You're building a shelter around us. We thank you for wrapping your arms around us, Lord God, yes. holding us tight, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because you've proven that you'll be everything that your word said you would be to us, Lord God. Yes. And we thank you, Lord God, because we don't have to fear, Lord God. Hallelujah, because the purpose of love cast it out all fear. And we thank you, Lord God, how you, oh God, just tells us what to do. And we ask you, Lord God, to call your people to continue to talk to them, Lord God. And oh God, after talking to us, Lord God, because we know you're not trying to do it, because you don't try to do it anything. You do what you want to do. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. But it's up to us, Lord God, to obey your word yes. and to do what you said, Lord God. Help us, oh God, to be true to you, Lord God. Help us to shut off the doctors, Lord God, that's in our life. Because you see, my people that are called by my name, first of all, with all of themselves and pray, seek your faith. And then you also say, turn from your wicked ways. Let us know that we have the way that just so please you. So we asking you, God, to help us, Lord God. God, because we're standing on your promises. Your yes. promises are true, God. And yes. we do what you tell us to do. We know that you're going to do what you said you're going to do yes. in the name of Jesus. Help us to cry out and spare not, Lord. Yes. Help us to use what you've given us, Lord God. Help us to not be so anxious. Yes. Just get back in that building, Lord God. But help us to be anxious and get the word of God out yes. to lost souls, Lord God, yes. that don't know you. Yes. Hallelujah. That they may come running and crying. How call it? Hallelujah. What should I do to be saved in the yes. name of Jesus? Help us, oh God, to realize what time it is yes. in the name of Jesus. Some of us that know you're sleeping, but it's time to wake up out of our sleep, Lord God. Get on the battlefield for you. Carry your word, Lord God. Whatever way that you've given it to us to carry your word, help us to carry it in Jesus' name. We love you today, Lord. Yes. Holy, we pray that you continue.
speak to Lord God, to speak to us, Lord. Help us to obey your word. Yes. Lord, help us, oh God, that we might love one another and that we might reach out to one another yes, in Lord. such a time like this. Help us not to be selfish, Lord God, but, oh God, help us to share what we have to one another in the name of Jesus. And, oh God, bless us, thank God, that will stand at a crossroad of one today. Somebody needs to make a decision, yes. but sometimes they don't know what decision to make. But God, be and guide them in making the right decision, Lord God. And somebody standing, Lord God, that says, I can't take no more. Had all I can take. Yeah. But, oh, God, you able to speak to that heart today. Let them realize that, God, you are here and that you're willing that you're able yes, to Lord. turn the situation around. Yes. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Lord, help us to speak life in the name of Jesus. Yes. Help us to realize that the power of life and death is in our tongue. Yes. Help us to speak life. Life, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, because you promised, Lord God, in your word, that with long life, I will satisfy you. Hallelujah. If we walk up right before you, give you what to do, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Name we believe Jesus. that you hear our cry. Yes. You know, God, help us to realize that this is not the shaking for the world. It's a shaking for both of us, the world and the people of God. Yes, Shake Lord. us, Lord God. Yes, Wake Lord. us, Lord God. Yes. In the sense of our responsibility, Lord God. Yes. Help us to realize what you call us to, Lord God. So many of us are seeking position. We're seeking this and we're seeking that. But we fail to realize what you call us to. You call us to be witnesses for you, Lord God. To go out into the hedges and the highways. Yes. Compel men and women to come to you, Lord God, yes. in the name of Jesus. Don't so stir us Jesus. up, Lord God. Don't let us rest until we begin to do what you said for us to do yes, in Lord. your word, Lord God. That's our homes, Lord God. So many things are happening. Lord God, husbands and wives sometimes are, are departing, Lord God, even in all of this, Lord God, but you're able to bring it together, Lord God. Yes, you you're seeking a relationship. Yes. Hallelujah. We started in the Garden of Eden when Adam and Eve, they broke the relationship, but you died on the cross that we might have that relationship with yes, you, Lord God. Lord. And oh God, hallelujah. Bless us and strengthen us, Lord God, yes, in the name Lord. of Jesus. Help yes. us, oh God, to abide in your word. Yes. Hallelujah. Your name up, Lord, you said about you lifted up, and you were lifted up on the cross, Lord God. Yes. That you draw all men yes. unto you, Lord God. But let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now draw all men unto you, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift your name up, Lord God. Yes. Let us now lift
and some are sick today, Lord. Hallelujah. Don't see no way out, Lord God. But you are a healer. Hallelujah. You said you sent your word and you healed. Yes. And you said that you were the Lord thy God that healed us from all manners of disease, Lord God. But most of all, God, heal the sin sick soul. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Because you realize that we have to leave this world. And if you have you, it's going to be all right. But, oh, God, leaving here without you is going to be a disaster. Mama. Hallelujah. So bless us, oh, God, to see your face Please. and to cry our Lord before you. Help us to do your will. Yeah, Hallelujah. Let us lift you up, Lord God. Yes. In the name of Jesus, Lord yeah, God. Let us go out, Lord God. Cry out, Lord God. Yes. And help others, Lord God. Help us, oh, God, even though we may have to shed tears. Yes. Do this, Lord God. But you promised in your word yes, that you Lord. would leave us and you would forsake us. So we love you today, Lord God. We, we bless you. God. Continue to bless this prayer line. Yes. Oh, God, we're not Thanks, here just Lord. to be on here, Lord. Yeah, we God. could be doing other things. But we are crying out and yes. praying. Asking you, Lord yes, God, Lord. and asking you that you would travail, Lord God, yeah, that God. you would work things out, Lord God, please, in the Lord. name of you, as yeah. only you can. Bring peace where there is confusion, Lord yes, God, Jesus. in the name of you, the love where there is hate, Lord yes, God, Lord. in the name of unity, Lord, where there is disunity. Yes, because, Lord, Lord, you said divided, we won't be able to stand. But together, Lord, if we come together, we'll be able to stand, carry the gospel, and do your will until you come. So continue to bless us, Lord God, and we'll give your name the glory. Yeah, God. Hallelujah. 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 And God, we give you the praise. Yes. Hallelujah. Lord. And we'll walk before you, Lord God. Help us to walk worthy of the vacation where you call us, Lord. Yes. Out Lord. of darkness. Yes. Yes. Help us to be salt in the earth. Yes. Help us to be the light of the world, Lord God. Yes. That's what you call us for, Lord God. Yeah, that God. men that walk in darkness might see you, Lord God. Yes. That might change their course of living, Lord God, and come to you in these last you we yes, bless you, Lord. we adore you, yes. and we magnify your name. Hallelujah. This is our prayer. Yeah, God. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Bless you Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, God. We bless you, Lord yeah, Jesus. Yes, Thank you, Lord. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Yes, glory, glory, yes, glory. Yes, Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Coming, we yes, thank you, Lord, for hearing Amen. our cry. Thank Hallelujah. you for that powerful prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank Lord. You. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, thank Lord you. Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you heard that prayer and you don't know Jesus, surely you know by now you need to know Jesus. I'm not even going to belabor it. If you want to accept Christ, if you want to restore your relationship with Christ because you realize you are out of step with the Spirit, I invite you to join me in a simple prayer right now. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. I believe you died for every one of my sins. I believe you were buried. I believe God raise you from the dead. I accept you now as my Lord and Savior. Come into my heart. Take control, Jesus. Forgive me. I repent of my sins. I thank you for dying for every one of my sins. I thank you for saving my soul. Amen. Praise his holy name. God's word says, whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So you can write this day down in your calendar as your day of being born again into the kingdom of God. We welcome you to the body of Christ. If you want to let me know, you can hit me up at Reverend Letty Carr, Rev, R-E-V, Letty Carr at whosoeverbelieves.org. Rev Letty Carr at whosoeverbelieves.org. It blesses us to be able to share testimonies about how God is moving through this prayer line. People have been letting us know they've been getting healed, cousins healed, sisters healed, family members, friends healed. Some have rededicated. Some have just been encouraged in their faith. Whatever it is God has done for you, we would love to hear and we would love to encourage you. 
thank you again for joining us. Thank you for your faithfulness and prayer. God is hearing us. Surely he heard us today. And we will continue by his grace to call upon his name daily. So join us again tomorrow at 316. And Lord willing, we will go before the throne of grace again. We're going to leave you with this song. Great is the faithfulness of Almighty God. Have a blessed day. Amen, amen, amen. Facebook family, what a blessing. Mother Naomi just prayed heaven down. Instagram family, it's good to see you all. Thank you all for your faithfulness and joining us and being a part of what God is doing in this prayer line. I tell you, God's so amazing. What I thought was a simple three-day fasting and prayer time has now become an international uh, event, if you will, because I get emails, I get posts on my Facebook page from people in different places. God is hearing our cry. So I just want to encourage you, keep praying, saints. Know that God is moving. I appreciate your support, your uh, standing with me, co-laboring with me in this thing. God bless you. It's a blessed day outside. I hope you get to go out. Don't go near nobody. Just walk outside in your neighborhood. Don't go no beach. Don't be hanging out with no crowds, but go get some fresh air. God bless you. I love you in the Lord. Amen.